Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge. So I'm gonna try to make this as simple as possible. I'm gonna do a hammer restoration and uh, I don't want it to be a long drawn out restoration or nothing like that. So I'll kind of show you the tools you need and I'll have you guys follow along with me real quick. Um, I have some stain that I picked out that I wanna do on the handle. And then I have boiled linseed oil to protect the handle. Soap and water is for the wet dry paper. And this is 600 grit wet dry paper and I'm gonna use that to polish the uh, face of the hammer along with the buffer and then the buffing wheel and this is jeweler's rouge which goes on the buffing wheel and I have the die grinder that I'm gonna use to use you know to do the buffing and the uh, tools to put the this on there and then I have the hammer which is a ball peen hammer and a punch to set the wedge in the hammer because this head is a little loose right here a little bit and I can't stand that and uh, the screwdriver is just to take the lid off this but simple tools you can do this at home in a home style garage or whatever and you can take an old two dollar that's what I paid for this two bucks at a swap meet or a flea market whatever you want to call it and uh, I've had this for quite a while now but I'm gonna take this two dollar hammer and turn it into something trick so follow along with me as we do this so one of the things that I forgot to mention was you'll need a razor blade or a scraper and then a couple of different grits of uh, sandpaper to do the handle and I have this real rough stuff here which is uh, I believe it's like 80 grit and then the other stuff is just miscellaneous so we'll get started Let's see what happens I think the first thing I'm gonna do is this this wedge here is jacked up, so I'm gonna smack this back in there. And I have the punch and the hammer. I don't there's no need to take this hammer apart because the uh, hammer's in pretty decent condition. For a two dollar hammer though, you can't beat that. It's gonna be kinda loud, sorry about that. One more. Yeah, now that head's nice and tight, so that'll work. And it sunk that wedge down there a little bit. And uh, we'll get, go ahead and start getting this handle sanded down a little bit. I'm gonna start out with the rough stuff. Actually, I'm gonna take this razor blade first, kind of skip a couple steps. And use this razor blade to scrape most of this crap off. Just be careful so you don't break the razor blade and hurt yourself. Well, I'll, I don't want to bore you with all this stuff, so I'll go ahead and uh, film some more in a bit. All right, so I, go ahead, I went ahead and got it uh, sanded down. There's a couple of nicks and stuff in it. I'm going to leave those just because I like the patina and the look that it has on it. But. One of the things I did notice, and I didn't notice earlier, there's a couple of nicks right here. And all you need for the nicks is just to take a file and carefully file all these out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these filed out. I'll get those cleaned up, and then I'm gonna uh, clean up this mess with some sandpaper, and I'm gonna use uh, 600 grit with uh, soap and water. And this is just a, a quart of water with one drop of Dawn dish soap in it. And then I shake it up, spray it on the sandpaper, and use that to polish this head before I buff it. All right, the next step that I have is I'm gonna take this 600 grit paper with some soap and water. <clears throat> and, uh, What I do is I fold it in half and lay it on a sheet of uh, a napkin or a paper towel. And that kind of gives it some padding so it kind of grooves around the hammer. Soak the paper. And then start sanding away. And this is the part that takes the longest.
do the other side. And I'll come back to you and see how long it takes. All right, well on this side I have, a, I have some small scratches. I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up, but they're not bad, I'm gonna leave them in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and get over and buff the head of this and see how it turns out. So I'll get the camera set up and I'll take you over to the uh, buffer. What I meant to say is I'm taking you over to the vise so I can use the buffer. And I'll go ahead and get that set up now. And I'm using a die grinder with a buffing, I believe this is a cotton uh, pad. And you wanna go ahead and load the pad first. Got a bad glare right here. And you wanna use the jeweler's rouge and I'll show you how to do that. And wear safety glasses, cause this is kind of dangerous. <laughs> Sorry about that glare. I'll go ahead and uh, polish this up now. You can see how it is now and wait till I start buffing on this thing and it really just turns into chrome. <laughs> See how the wheel turns black? That's what you want because it's taking all the impurities out of the metal and it's going to turn it into chrome so that it'll look like a mirror. You'll be able to comb your hair in this hammer in a bit. But I'm going to go ahead and finish buffing and uh, I'll get back with you. So I'll get you over here in the sunlight and show you how this thing looks. It's a mirror now. This, these scratches here though, I'm not going to worry about them. So now I'm going to go ahead and stain the handle and I'll show you what I use for that. This is just Minlax wood finish and this color is red oak if you're interested in that color. And, and then the next step I'm going to do is the boiled linseed oil over the top of that. I'm going to go ahead and get it stained now. And I know I've said this in other videos, but when you're done using stain and you use this boiled linseed oil, don't throw your rags in the uh, don't throw the rags in the garbage can because overnight they'll combust and they'll catch on fire. Just take that the boiled linseed oil rags and spread them over the top of your your anvil or your vise or your welding table and let them sit overnight and dry out, and then you can throw them away, and then they're fine. And I love the patina, the nicks and the marks and all that stuff with this uh, old hammer, with this stain. This will turn out pretty nice. And I'm just running a quick coat over this thing. Make sure, you know, it stains it real quick and then uh, wipe it off and then right to the boiled linseed oil. That looks good to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down. Just take any excess stain off of there. And I'll go ahead and uh, get a clean rag. You can see how nice and shiny and 
smooth that hammer is going to be. And you don't have to use boiled linseed oil on the wood. You can actually use it on the metal also. It gives it a really nice patina and it protects it. Use it on the head of the hammer, not on the face. And I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off one more time. I got one last step. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and skip that step. I was gonna put my name on there real quick, but uh, you see how it turned out. It turned out really nice. And this will be a nice hammer. I mean, this thing will last for years now. The head's tight, and I did some maintenance on the face so that the faces are nice and clean, and you know they're not gonna mar up the metal when you're using this. This is a body hammer, so you're gonna be using this on steel and uh, on panels. But then, you know, now this handle's protected. But anyways, I appreciate you guys uh, watching my channel. And uh, if you go over and check out some other channels, I appreciate you, all your support. I just hit 5,000 subs on my channel. And uh, I can't thank you guys enough for all the subs. And I'm going to do a contest or like a giveaway. And, and I'll, as soon as I do that, I'll let you know. I might be at six or 7,000 subs by the time I do this giveaway. Um, I'll try to let you guys know. But... Uh, what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to get some uh, stuff set up so that we can give away. And I'm sure it's gonna be like shirts and hats and something badass, I don't know, we'll figure out something cool. Um, stickers and whatever, who knows. But I'm gonna talk to Heidi about that and we'll figure out what we can give away for this contest. And like I said, as soon as I can, I'll let you guys know what it'll be and I'll announce that maybe on the next couple of videos or so. Um, thanks for the 5,000 subs, that's awesome, man. And uh, I appreciate all your, your support. And uh, if you guys can go support these other channels, Mad Styles, he's got an awesome channel. He's doing a Volkswagen convertible bolt bug right now. And he's doing a badass Indian motorcycle. Um, Mad Styles is a good channel on YouTube. Go check him out. He needs some more subs and some love. Give him a big old smooch. Wayne's Garage. Um, this is a guy in uh, Australia and his subs are starting to climb up more and more and more. And go support Wayne's Garage. And then the other one is our other channel, uh, Minnesota Outlaw Customs other channel, and that's NZ Mopar in Australia. Go check our other channel out, NZ Mopar. And also go check out Eastern Metalworks. Uh, he's a young kid, Justin, in uh, Canada, and he's doing good, and he's starting to show his work and whatever. And it's, you know, it's exciting to see a younger guy coming up and in, in doing the metalworking and whatever. And, you know, imagine what, where he's going to these guys are going to all be at in another 10 years. I mean, they're going to be a master at their craft, you know. But uh, go check out Eastern Metalworks, Mad Styles, Wayne's Garage on YouTube. And go check our other channel out. It's NZ Mopar. Thanks a lot for watching, you guys. Appreciate it.